Okay, here we are uh, back again. I think we're going to call this part one of the power supply project. So, here we go. Let's start off with, first of all, LM723s. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, I've got ten of them in there, so 723 it will be. Um, which means I'm going to need a, this will do about 100 milliamps out uh, because it's a regular, it's a complete regulator on a chip, um, but it only has about 100 milliamps out. So I need to drive some pass transistors. So the first thing I'll need to do is drive a BD139, um, just a simple MPN transistor. So that will give me an amp or so out of there. Um, which means I'll still have to drive some more pass transistors. So, um, two N3055s, or shall I bore you? I don't know. Um, higher voltage, but less current handling when you vary the voltage. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm not going to use the two N3055s, I'm going to use. One, two, three, four, two uh, N three seven seven ones. Now uh, these were all bought for a project, um, which happened, um, but uh, in the end didn't actually require them. So uh, I still have them all, and they've all got the same date code on them. So I know, I know they've all come out of the same batch. So they're going to be reasonably balanced so I'm going to just use four of those uh, what I'm also going to need uh, if I use four pass transistors I'm going to need balance resistors for those um, normally round about oh, I don't know a couple of ohms each oh, no, no not a couple of ohms um, 0.1, 0.2 ohms. Um, so there we go. We have uh, 0.2 ohm resistors. Um, there's four there. I might actually double it up and use eight. I haven't decided yet. Um, it's use eight high current. I'll work out the maths and actually decide whether I'm going to double them up. Um, I also um, need to put some sort of filtering in. Now, I can either go with the great big capacitor or let's have a look. Um, 33,000 microfarads, call that as near as damn it, 5,000 microfarads. So two of those is 10,000. 2 is 10,000, so 6 would be 30,000, 8 would be eight would be the equivalent of that, um, but these would obviously take up a lot less space, um, mm. and I've got a lot of these, and I've only got one of those, and I'd have to find a way of sticking that down. Um, yes, okay, uh, one of the two. Uh, bridge rectifier I'm going to need there we go something like that or in fact that one will probably be better um, yeah. there we go so we have a 40 amp bridge rectifier there um, so yeah um, some form of metering what are we going to do um, yeah there we go volts and amps there, there's a panel meter volts and amps so that will do for that um, oh yeah a large meter shunt to uh, to go with it now oh, those things won't run off their own power off the power that they're measuring if I remember rightly I don't think they do um, so I may need to run 
another power supply so I can put one of those little boards that we built in the kit series um, so I can put that there straight off the AC side of the secondary, the transformer at what was that, 26 volts we measured it at 26 volts, get the 12 volts out, that will supply the meter um, that will also supply um, it's going to need some cooling so I think I'll need some form of uh, fan on it so I'll probably put my large 120 mil fans on the back of the heat sink um, let's see rather than have it constant okay let's uh, throw in a temperature control relay board why not eh? um, and that way we can uh, stick the thermistor onto the heat sink and uh, supply it with DC from this board as well um, so that the relay does the actual switching uh, temperature setting is there um, yeah I think I think we're pretty well there um, I've actually got a metal box as well um, so I've got the transformer the bridge rectifier that, that um, odds and sods resistors no problem at all um, I think we're almost pretty well ready to start building it so I think for uh, part one I think that's um, I think that's enough and um, there we go I think that'll do it's time to start a project pot so I will get one of my ubiquitous plastic containers and put all these bits in it and I think we shall leave it there uh, for now and um, yeah, see you on part two. Thanks very much.